Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another awesome Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, today's project starts with the gallery. There is a fun pencil topper design challenge. I've, of course, got a design I'm going to share with you. The thing I want to mention is that you can copy and tinker this. And friends, the golden rule is to like before you copy. As you can see, I gave this an awesome. These are your other choices. And then I hit copy and tinker. Friends, I just want to mention 872 remixes and only 53 reactions. Friends, I believe we can do a lot better. Don't forget you can always come back and fix that later or update. Like say, I chose to give it a wow. And then bingo, let's hit copy and tinker and let me show you how this works. Friends, once you hit copy and tinker, you'll be inside the project. You can see that this has a 3D printable piece with a top and then a spinner that you put together. And our challenge is to make our own cool one. So I have got two versions that I built. I'll show you those in just a second. I do want to show you this. If we click on this shape, we can ungroup it. I'm going to hide this one and I'm going to hide this one and I'm going to hide these ribs. I found that these really don't help with my 3D prints. They're still smooth inside. So I'm going to skip that step. And then what I want to show you is this all starts with the hole that fits your pencil where it's eight and a half by eight and a half. I'm going to select that, do control D and let's move it over to this side. Now the next thing friends is we need to search for an awesome shape. I need you to type hyper and we want the hyperbolid. When you bring this out, it does take a second for it to show up. Notice now I can see the picture. Now I can bring it out. And friends, we're going to adjust this with these numbers. I have done the math for you. I'm going to just tell you it's 22, 6, keep the inner radius 5, and then we do want it totally round, so drag the sides all the way across. Bingo. That is this shape right here. As you can see, I left those pieces inside. I am going to skip them because I didn't find them to be helpful. Right now, I'm going to do Shift Select, choose a line. That is the letter L, and I want to move it over here and here. Those will get grouped, but before I do, I want to do Control D, and let's do Shift Nudge to move it over because we're going to use it for the second part as well. Now we can reselect those and do Control G or use the Group button to group them. Friends, the next part of this is to change our duplicates numbers to 6.3 and 5.5. And we're going to make it a hole. With those numbers changed, friends, I'm going to select a 2, press L for a line, make the green one the master, and I want to choose middle. And I like to look at this from a corner and choose middle. Friends, now that we've got those two parts built, let's double check to make sure that we're right. First, I'm going to hit hide, and I'm going to make sure I've got that part locked. Then I'm going to do show all to bring it back. And now, friends, we're going to make the cylinder that goes around this. When you bring out your cylinder, hold down shift and stretch it to Crazyville. And then we're going to type the number 13.2. Once again, I tested these numbers to see how they fit. We're going to give it a bevel of 1. We're going to do segments of 5 and we want the sides to be totally round. We do need to change the height to 22 and press enter. Now when we grab those two, choose L for a line, we want middle, and we want middle with that one being the master. We can simply group this, control G is group, and then friends check it out, you can see that we've got two separate pieces. If on the outside one I do T for transparent, you can see that gap all the way around it. Now to make this easier to spin, you can add wedges or you can cut something into this. You could also add hearts. You can go crazy. Let me just quickly show the technique I used. This is a sphere. I'm going to shrink it down to about eight. You can pick whatever number you want. I'm going to make it a hole. Notice this one is still locked and I'm going to do control D. I'm going to nudge the duplicate across for how far I want to cut in. You can pick whatever you think is cool. And then I want this to be centered, so I'm going to shift select those two, and I'm going to group them. Now when I do L for align, I want them to align this way and this way. And then I can do control D, and I can rotate. If I do shift 45, 
bingo they line up just like that I do want to make sure they're aligned up and down so I'm gonna select them do L for align I'll look at it from the front so this makes a lot more sense and I'm saying I wanted them right there final step is to group it and friends you have instantly got an epic 3d printable print in place pencil topper how cool is that friends the final step i'm going to do is put my initials on it i'm going to bring out a chunk of text and because of the awesome new cruising i can set it right on top i'm going to put the initials hl of course once i let go i'm going to make them a hole and then i'm going to shift shrink them until they're small enough to fit drag them into place do that l for a line and i want to make sure they're centered and centered Another cool trick is to do Alt Shift. So now it stays in that middle and I can nudge it to the size that I want. If you change your nudge to 0.1, you can be more perfect. And then we can only sync this in a little ways before we run into anything. So right now I'm gonna set my nudge to 0.5, click on those letters and do Control Down one click. Now I need to unlock that so that it can cut into it. And I'm going to do shift select on those two and do control G and group them. Bingo. How cool is that? I want to wrap up this design by showing the world. Remember, it is so easy. Back up to the Tinkercad page. Click the gear. Choose your properties. Make sure you've got a cool name and a description. I will add the tutorial when I'm done with it. Make sure you add tags that matter. And friends, because this is for the Autodesk Pencil Challenge, you need to add that. If you want me to see what you created, you can tag it with HLMT23, and I'll take a look at that when I get a chance. Finally, friends, make it public, and then I always choose no derivatives because I want you to come up here, follow the tutorial, and gain some epic skills. When you've completed that, friends, don't forget you can also add some cool images. Simply click Upload an Image, choose the file. I make mine in Pixlr, and then I'm going to simply set that as the cover image. Click somewhere else to close it. Friends, when you click the gallery, of course, check out the cool staff pics. If you see something awesome, make sure you give it a reaction. Once you shut off staff pics, your design will show up in the gallery while you wait. Make sure you find awesome designs and give them reactions. Friends, as we wrap it up, I'm going to change the name. I'm going to do PTC for Pencil Topper Challenge. And then I'm going to put my initials after it because I want to print it. That'll affect your file name, and then you can hit export, and you can save it as an STL. I always save mine to my 3D modeling folder. Once I've got it saved, I'll send it to the printer, and we'll show you how it works. So friends, you can see that completely spins to make a fidget spinner, and the more you play with it, the cooler it gets. Friends, I hope you had a ton of fun with this project, learned some skills, and also end up with a sweet 3D printable pencil topper. Friends, I also want to remind you, don't forget the golden rule of Tinkercad, like before you copy. Friends, I do want to quickly remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got the page dedicated to Tinkercad, tons of amazing categories, and then also day one lessons, useful starters, and Tinkercad essentials. Friends, there is also the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. I do also want to highlight the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, we've got more than 700 members, and it is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.